Okay, so here we have the software I use to manage my movie inventory. It was um, Black Friday yesterday and I went shopping to get some movies. So I wanted to show you all how I, um, I manage everything and, and show you the product I use. And the product I use is Movie Collector from CollectorZ.com. It's an old version. Um, it works for me fine. I get everything I need. But I will be updating to the new version. Um, the, it come, the new version, the software is new, but it also comes with apps and um, cloud service. So therefore, you could take your collection on the go so that you'll be able to, when you're shopping, you could be able to look at your inventory to make sure you don't buy duplicates or sometimes you you do want to buy duplicates but and also this the database allow you to enter movies that you want to buy so you can also have a report that shows all the movies you, you want to buy say on black friday you have 50 movies to, to to buy you could set it up into the database and then you could also put where you want to buy it and then you could go and buy it um they also have other um collector software so if you're into books there's one for books if you're into music there's one for music um games there's another one for mo and this one movies and then the final one is for comic books and for the comic book i don't really collect comic books but i'll get it because i, I usually collect um some type of magazines and I'll use the comic book version for magazines. Now, the, the ease with the product is that the Collector Z products are linked to their server. So they download the, the information into your database, like the cover art, the, 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 the metadata for the movie, books, whatever. It also downloads the cover, description, everything. But for the collectors, if I use it for the magazine, the great thing about their database is you could personalize it and you can enter information and also link the pictures. So you could scan a magazine, say you're collecting the Forbes 400. You can scan the cover and the back of the magazine and also enter it into the system. So that's why I'll, I'll get the comic book database to use for that. But anyway... Let's go ahead and enter um, some of the movies I bought. I'll enter a few formats, uh, DVD, Blu-ray, and a TV um, series, just to show you how I use it. And you can see I'm a big movie collector, so I have this a lot of movies. And it also allows you to enter any format. So. It's very simple, you just come here. In my version, you just click this. You can enter it manually or by the barcode. So first you'll enter this movie, this DVD, the intern. And all you need to do is just enter the barcode right here. Now sometimes, like if you buy movies at Walmart, they might cover the barcode here. So sometimes you'll have to take off their barcode. Right? Um, another product that Collector Z has is a scanner where you can just automatically scan the barcode and it enters it into the, the database, which is pretty cool. But I think the last time I checked, it was like a hundred dollars or something. Okay, so let's enter this DVD by the barcode. Or you can enter it by the title, but it's faster by the barcode. You use the title sometimes if you're having problems with the barcode, it cannot find it. So here you see it found it one time. And here it have the intern 2015. It has the cover ads back and front and the information about the movie. You click next. Here you could add another one. So you could keep adding. But I usually stop. I say finish. And then I go and enter personal data onto it. Now the reason why I have to do that before. And as I said, this is the old version. So I don't know if the new version does this. But way back when they just started the database used to be linked to Amazon. 
So with Amazon, they would have downloaded also the price that Amazon was selling the DVD and the value of the DVD. So you know you could buy it for $10, but it's on sale for 5 so it's really worth $15. So here is where I um, come here and I click this. And here is the actual form for the in the database where you have all the tables. So here I'll go to personal, or if you want to enter or change anything here, you see it has the genre, the studio, the IMDB number, the release date, the time run, the minutes, everything, all that was entered from Collector Z server. It has, so if you want to search, or oh, show me the database with all um, Robert De Niro movies in your inventory, you could do a search for that. And you'll pull up everything. Now, episodes, that is for a TV um, series. So when you enter a TV series, I will show you an example. Uh, it will be here, editions and personal. So here you could put whatever you want. So here I'll put the price, and I think this was $4 at Target. So I'll just put, all, the current value could be a little higher somewhere. But for my thing, I'll just put $4. Here is where... It has the 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 um store the pictures. Here is, it has the plot, you know what is about the movies, and you have the links. And here you can also so if you have videos like trailer videos files, you could also add files here. So you could click on a video, and technically, if you have the actual the the, the whole movie file. You could watch it right from this database, or you could create put the trailer here if you have the trailer um, clip. But I use a different software to do that, which I'll show you all one day. Um, and here you could see that it has you know the status. Is it in your collection? Did you lend it out? Are you deciding to sell it? Or do you want to buy it? So here you can list say you're going to Black Friday and you want stuff, you can put all of all the movies you want so you enter them into the system you go you buy it so it's already entered so all you have to do is come and change the status from wanted to in collection so it's a pretty cool product so this is it so it's in the system now oh i didn't say okay to save it so let's go back and enter the the value $2. Okay, so let's enter another DVD, another movie, and now I'll enter one of my favorite movies, Deadpool, and this is a Blu-ray DVD digital copy, so add, and enter, and you see this is all I was talking about, you see, I think I bought this at Target or something, I see they have the barcode here, so maybe this might be the right barcode, if not, you have to use the one at the back of it. But let's try this one first. Yeah, so it found it. Because studios normally sometimes make different products for different vendors. Like Target might have a movie packaged differently from Walmart. So they might have a little different barcode. So there it is and finish and then and the reason why I, I don't go at because I want to add the personal data why I click finish is because it usually takes you to the last movie you entered so therefore it's easy to enter the data than if you enter all of them and then you have to go and find them so that's why I did so here it puts it in the blu-ray section and all I have to do here, I think I paid eight dollars. Uh, I think I'll put nine. I think I paid nine dollars for it. I click OK. So that was a. You enter another Blu-ray. Money Monster. This was a great movie too. It's it's kind of based with, on a uh, Mad Money with Jim Cramer. And you know the action part of Hollywood, but you can see they got a lot of inspiration from Jim Carrey, his um, Mad Money um, show, 
on CNBC. Uh, let's go here and do this. And it's very quick and easy. And there it is, it found it. And it's quick finish. Oh, I'll show you all another um, thing about using this product here, like. Um, this will be a good example. Let me find it just now. Let me enter this. Um, I think this was $8. Okay, so let me enter another movie to show you something. And here we have another copy of Money Monster. Now this is the DVD one. And the one that I just entered is the Blu-ray with digital copy. I like to have, if I'm buying Blu-ray, I always want it with the DVD. So I couldn't have find it. Um, on Black Friday sale with the three of them together so I had to buy them se separate so let's see what will happen so now let's go and enter the DVD one and it found it, it knows it's a DVD but you see right here Collector Z said it's already in your collection click next to add it anyway I could go back and then decide to you know enter a different one. So I'll click next to add because I intended it to be a duplicate. And then I'll click finish and it puts it down into the DVD section. And then I'll put the price I paid for it, which I think was six dollars. But you know, if it was for Black Friday, these movies would be worth $15, $20. Okay, here we have a TV series, Homeland, the third season. So let's enter this one. Okay, barcode. See, this barcode has the 8 zero, the I stop at the seven, so let's see if it works. And here it goes, Homeland, the third season. Finish. And there it is. And then Collector Z also have different back backgrounds or templates that I could download, but this is the one I like, so that's how I have it. And then I'll come here. And you see it tells you the run time, 616 minutes. So if you need to watch Homeland, the third season, make time for 616 minutes to watch all of that. And this one, I think was $10. Which this would usually be $29.99, probably. And here you see the episodes. So this is the part of the TV section. It also downloaded each episode. Uh, the tag of each episode. For season three all right click okay and there it is guys so that's how i manage my collection of movies um i use this product from collector z very good company customer service is very good too working with them um so I can't wait to upgrade and show you all the new version of it and show you the app. The real part I want is the app to have it on my phone so I could, you know, it's sometimes my memory is good when I buy Like Black Friday, I end up buying one out of all the movies I bought that was a duplicate, which I have to take back. But um it will be good to have it on your phone or to plan it you know enter the the movies you want so the computer that tell me this movie i want i already have it so then i wouldn't buy it so i love this product as i said it have reports you could learn if you learn out items you could track it here yeah, manage you know who you lend it to it's out of your collection um you have statistics maintenance everything here 
It also could work with um, Media Center. Um, so this is a great product. You all should look at them. I'll put a clip of the website with their products at the end. And um, if you like it, give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe because I'll be putting on more um, DVD, YouTube videos, you know, showing you the collection. And um, thank you for watching. So here is Collector Z's website, collectorz.com. And here you will see the five products they have, the movie collector, the book collector, music collector, comic book collector, and game collector. They also have the cloud service for each of the collector products they have, and then the apps. And they have it both for Android. Is it for Android? They have it for iOS, Apple. I think they have it for Android too, but please double check and just download the software. It's for both PC and Apple computers. Here is the movie um, section. And you can also download a trial version of each product. And I think it allows you to have 50 entries max. And then you can buy the standard or the pro version. And the prices are there, twenty nine ninety nine and forty nine ninety nine. Now, when you buy bundles like different collector products or different apps with the collection, like if you buy the movie collector and then you buy the app for the movie collector, you will get savings. They are bundle savings. So the more you buy, the more you save. If you really need all of the products, like I do. And here's where you buy the product. Um, and they use, I think, all major credit cards and PayPal. So you select which products you want. And it will also show you the savings.